Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Recently, I just got back from a trip from Tokyo. I had uh, three wonderful rounds. And this is my first round at Tokyo Classic Club. It's a private club where only the members and their guests can play. It's a beautifully designed Jack Nicholas course. I'm going to walk you guys through my 18 holes of the black tea. Now this first hole, it's 233 to carry the bunker. Um, it's, uh, it's a distance where my driver can carry pretty easily. I played the balls down the center of the fairway. From here, I have 140 meters to the pin. I'm going with an 8 iron. The condition here is immaculate. The greens are bent grass, so which means they are pretty receptive. Sometimes you can even spin the ball back. This part is right to left. Not really sure how the green runs and whether it's smooth or not, but as you can see, it's rolling really, really well. Hole 2 is a par 4 at 318 meters. The bunkers on the left are reachable. I have to hit it really good to carry it. So I'm just placing the ball right of the fairway just before the bunker there. Playing a just a slight high cut. This hole isn't really long, so I don't have to bomb it as it's guarded by traps. I'm going to stay away from this rough. If it goes inside, you won't be able to find the ball. So the pin is 74 meters and to carry the bunker is 64. So the wise thing to do would be to play past the pin. As I believe the back of the pin is wide, it's clear. And from here it's just a two part for par. Hole 3 is a par 5. Not really sure what's happening up her head, but all I know, I just got to hit it straight down the center. Yeah, yeah. It's the pin is over the trees and actually it's divided by a valley. So I went with the three wood, hit this really low, and the ball went through the trees, hopefully. But just in case, I went with a provisional ball and went with my 3 hybrid. Okay. As I got to the other side, I was lucky enough to find my ball. However, I was blocked by trees, or should I say branches, and I had to bump and run or hit this really low with an 8 iron. From here, the downhill part looked really fast to me and it dies left to right. So it's not a part where I can be really aggressive. A two part par, very happy. This hole is rather long. Uh, the bunker on the right is definitely reachable. So I went with a draw. I struck the ball really bad, so went with a provisional. I struck this well, so I hit a nice draw. That's fine. Thank you. However, when I got up to this point, I couldn't find my ball at all, and here I'm hitting my sixth stroke. Yeah, so the third shot plus two penalty. Fly. Four, five. Now I'm hitting number six. Thank you. And here I'm putting for triple bogey. Can you believe it? So double par on the fourth hole. And what's next was a very long par 3. It's 222 meters to the pin with 200 meters to carry the bunker. The wise decision would be to play right of this pin. As I believe if I were to play left of that, I'm going to be short-sided. And getting up and down is going to be troublesome. No, I want to hit the cut. I've read this chip uh, with a slight right to left. It slopes downhill just 10 feet before the pin. So I went with a low chip and run. And stop the bleeding with a par. Thank you. I must say that 
This is one very well designed course. When you stand off the black tee, most of the fairways look really narrow. And if you hit the balls in the tree, then your ball is going to end up in fescue. Then you have to tee up another one again. This second shot, the pin is on the far right. So it doesn't really suit my draw. So I went straight for the pin. The ball drew and the ball landed on in the center of the green, which I think is the wise decision. If I do try to attack the pin and if I do, if the ball does not actually draw back, the ball could have ended up in the rough on the bunker you see on the back. This par 3 is 174 meters to the pin and to cover the bunker, to carry is 165. I went with an iron that I think wasn't enough. Or should I say, I didn't strike it really well. Bunker. And then the ball ended up in the bunker. The feel of this bunker is quite hard. It's not the soft, fluffy type. So you have to be really careful with how your club interacts with uh, the sand. From here is a really gentle left to right part. Okay. Hole 8 is a par 5. From here you can tell it's pretty narrow, right? As you've got trees on the left and trees on the right. So just placing the ball on the fairway is really fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So at this point of time, I'm just figuring out how do I play my second shot. So we got 219 to the left bunker. We got 175 to carry the center. So I picked a club where my ball can land somewhere in between, which is my hybrid. Didn't go with the three wood instead as that would bring all the danger into play. And this is just a straightforward 70 meter wedge shot. I struck this really well and gave myself a chance for a birdie. Thank you. This was a really huge left to right break. I think I struck it really well. Unfortunately, the pace wasn't really good. Still walk. But a par is always a good thing on the course that you don't really know that well. This whole nine has a fairway flanked by bunkers again, and you have to be really accurate. So using a rangefinder and really finding out, you know, where is your landing spot, where you need to avoid is really important. Fly. Oh yes. I'm left with 72 meters. Pin is slightly left of the green. I've got bunkers on the left. My ball is slightly downhill and I place the ball towards the far right of the green. I think at this point I'm just playing safe because I already had a double par. I don't want to compound my mistake. And from here, what do you know? Hey buddy. Thank you, finally. Fuck. <laughs> Three over on the front nine, and here we are on the back. I have sort of two shots in my bag. I have a fairway finder, which I normally play with a cut, just like this one. And the other one is a bomb, a high draw. I will only pull that out if I feel that I can make some mistakes off the tee. Here I have 88 meters, went with a sand wedge. It's a three-quarter shot. Didn't hit this really well, but managed to get the ball on the green. Thanks. This is a right-to-left downhill putt. So on bank grass, like this course, when it's downhill, it gets really, really fast. After three over the front nine and with that double par, my plan is to just play safe, hit more fairways, don't have to really hit it that long and put the ball on the green. And if the ball doesn't get onto the green, try to chip it as close as possible. If I can't one part, I just two part. So with this hole, I played a high cut. On my second shot, this is a long one. It's 200 meters to the pin. I'm aiming far left and trying to cut the ball back. Cut. I wouldn't think it's cut. wise to aim far right and just draw it in. What happens if my ball just stays straight? Now I'm left and faced with a long putt. 
struck this really, really well, maybe too well. Ball raced past wow. the hole. And I'm left with a very, very testy five to six footer. I thought I pulled this part actually, but I think I read it wrongly. We have the rule uh, on this course where uh, it's a gimme within a putter length. Unfortunately, this was not. Luckily, it dropped in the last minute and I walked away with a bogey. Hole 12, another par 3. Some of the par 3s here can get really, really long. It's 180 meters. I went with a 4 iron as there was wind up ahead. It was hurting just in front. Struck this poorly. The ball left out to the right side. And I'm left with a downhill chip shot. I was just trying to be too fancy and want to cut, uh, you know, put some spin onto it. Didn't execute this well. And this part is sort of like 50 50, it's about 10 feet. Underread this, and I walked away with a bogey. So, five over after 12 ah. holes. I must say, I'm hanging there, just hanging there. Hole 13 is a nice hole with got the beautiful lake on the right side, which I cannot carry to the far end. So, I hit the driver towards the left. I tried to hit a slight cut, but then it ended up with a pull. I didn't hit it that hard. Still, it's okay, as I didn't hit this really, really hard. Pin is 90, and again, I have to carry a bunker of 80. So what do you think I'm going to hit? I'm going to hit a shot that's longer. So I went with something like 95. And my decision paid off. I have a birdie look. Capitalize on it. And a nice wow. Another par 3, which is more than 170 meters. Again, with the wind up front, I went with a 5 iron. I think I've been striking my oh. long irons pretty poorly over the last oh. few holes. Been fortunate enough to get the ball onto the green. However, it's still a really long putt. As you're really unfamiliar with the pace of the green, having 3 parts is pretty common. And over here, another three part. Okay, come on, Darren. We've got to get a birdie on the next hole just to make it up. This is an excellently designed par five. You got to carry the water. You got bunkers on the right, but you got a huge fairway on the left. So that's where I'm going. Now I like how this hole is designed. It got the pin on the left and is guarded by bunkers. I sort of have to like hit a very high draw. But you know, didn't really hit the shot at one. The ball set out to the right. And now I have to negotiate the ball over this bunker. They don't want to be too cute. So play it way over. It was excellently executed. Thank you very much. Oh. Hole 16 and 17 are really tight holes. You do not have much room to work with. I've got the bunkers on the left. I can't hit the ball really far right as well as the trees will come into play. Nope. And then, what do you know? Bunker? You hit the ball into the bunkers. So from here, it's 186 meters. Pin is on the left. I do not have a high draw with a long iron from the bunkers. So I went with a very low shot, hoping that the ball would land and then roll as much as possible towards the hole. It found the green side bunker. I was kind of happy with it, as I can control the spin and how the ball is going to come out from that spot. And from here, all I have to do is just sing this part and save a par. That was a huge save on the last hole. Now hole 17, again, it's really narrow. Again! Why? 
I was frustrated as I did hook one earlier on on the fourth hole, remember? And that ended up with a double par. I went with a provisional. Didn't hit it as hard as I did on the previous shot. Oh, I did. Ball was safe. But fortunately, as I walked up to the far left, I did find my ball in the rough, but not in the fescue. Still left with a long way, 200 meters. I went with a 4 iron. Struck this well, but not well enough to get the ball onto the green. So I had about 30 meters to get my ball up and down. Just like a bit of rotation through the shot. And a long part for par. Come on, turn. It's okay. A bogey. We are still good. Bogey. Out. My plan coming into this uh, 18 holes was just to break 80. I think I'm on track. I'm just plus 5. I think at this point, I have 3 shots. I have 3 strokes to blow. But that's not what I was thinking about. I was just saying, you know, hit the ball towards the fairway. We're going to play regulation. Let's not be too fancy. Lay out with a 4 iron, just punch it low, let it run towards the center of the fairway. That's the plan. And from here, it's only 70 meters to the pin. The plan is to play it way right. But then I changed my mind last minute and wanted to attack the pin and it ended up into a pool. Yeah, silly, right? Careful. The ball wasn't in a very good line, and I had a really short bunker to play. Thankfully, the ball got out. And from here, just two part will do with a 78 6 over. Okay. I'm pretty happy on my first outing on this beautifully designed Jack Nicholas course. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.